A raw man murdered late last month was laid to rest this morning. KRCG 13's Garrett Bergquist recently spoke with Daniel Hunter's mother and brother. He tells us how they want Daniel to be remembered. Grandma moved in. She wasn't able Daniel to Hunter's to family is still coming to terms with his death. Oh, you can't think straight. Somebody calls you and tells you, you know, says something five minutes later. You can't remember what they just said. Rolla police say Daniel Hunter was shot to death in his home on the night of May 22nd. Joshua Toole faces first-degree murder charges in Hunter's death. Police say Toole is dating Hunter's ex-wife and confronted him over something involving her. Oh, we were friends. I mean, we've known each other for six, seven years before this. Dale and says that friendship ended when uh, Toole started dating gosh. his brother's ex-wife. Daniel's family says he was a talented handyman and a good father to his children. Just like if there's snow or ice outside, he'd call me, Mom, do you need to ride somewhere or anything? Because he did not want me going out, and I don't go out in this ice. He built go-karts, uh, you know, anything he could shoot. He even took uh, pallets, and he'd make chairs, tables with them. Roslyn was in Girl Scouts. Corbin was in Boy Scouts. He'd take them to the meetings, and I think he even helped Corbin with his Boy Scouts. And then Danny, he would do, he was working like seven days a week just to pay bills. And he was always bringing Roslyn and Corbin over to my house to, for me to watch him. Uh, pretty rough. You know, uh, I talk to my brother every day, you know, so can't call him anymore. In Rolla, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13. Daniel Hunter's family has set up a GoFundMe account to help cover funeral expenses and to help cover the needs of his children. You can find a link on our website, connectmidmissouri.com. There is a case review for Joshua Toole tomorrow. The court has not yet scheduled a preliminary hearing.